Hello, my name is Samuel Keith Harris, and welcome back to another episode of Morning Devotionals. Let's start our day with Jesus. Father, I thank you that we can come into your presence, Lord, and hear your word. What a blessing that we can read your scriptures and be changed by them. Touch every heart that's listening, Lord, and lead them deeper into you. It's in Jesus' precious name that I pray, and everybody said, Amen. Well, if you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I want to go into that chapter again and pull out some rich nutrients from the Word of God for us to implement into our lives and to be changed by the power of God. So the scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 in verse 15, it says, Jesus died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ who died and was raised for them. So the scripture says that Jesus died for us for a reason, so that those who would receive this new life, the new creation life, where we were once one way, but now we're another way, those who receive it will no longer live for themselves. So if you're a Christian, you're to no longer live for yourself, but to live for Jesus Christ. It says, they will live for Christ who died and was raised for them. No greater love is there than that. So receive the love of Christ, be changed by the love of Christ, and let him put that love in you and that you would love God first and then love other people as you love yourself. So in verse 16 it says, So we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view, how differently we know him now. Verse 17, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. The scripture says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old life has passed away, the new life has begun. All things have been made new. So if you've met Jesus, you will notice that a purity was implanted inside of you to where now you hate the sins that you used to love. You love what God loves and you hate what God hates, though you used to love what God hated and you hated what God loved. Now you love purity. Now you love holiness. Now you love the word of God. Now you want to spend time in prayer. Now you want to worship God in worship music. Now you want to tell other people about Jesus. Why? Because you've been made completely new. A person now exists that, does, that, that didn't exist before. One thing that my girlfriend told me when we were dating, which we're now married, because we're not going to be living in sexual immorality. When I got saved, we cut that sexual sin off and we waited till we were married because it is sin to have sex outside of marriage, period. And the only marriage that's recognized in the sight of God is between one man and one woman. But one thing that she said to me was, I don't even, she told me this. She said, it feels like I'm cheating on you because you're such a different person. And she couldn't explain it. You know why? Because God completely changed me. So she really was dating a new man. I wasn't the old man that I used to be. I was genuinely born again of the spirit of God, made a new man in Christ and walking in the ways of God. And if you're born again, you will be made completely new also. You will have a new set of desires, things you used to hate and repulse, such as the word of God, such as seeking God. You will love that. You will long for that. You will crave that. To see the power of God, you will crave that. And you will want to set other people free from the power of sin, just like Jesus delivered you and set you free. So let's go on. It says, and all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciliation, reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. Though people are sinning against God, God wants to bring them to himself so that they will sin no longer. And it says, and he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. We're to tell people they can be set free by the power of God. We're to tell people that they can be brought into relationship with God if they'll just leave their sin behind and by the power of the Spirit step in to relationship with God. It says, and he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. Verse 20, so we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We are speaking on behalf of God. It says we speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. 
we tell men and women who are lost, come back to God. And it says, for God made Christ, who knew no sin, to be sin for us so that we would be made right with God through Christ. Jesus went to the cross. He took upon sin so that you could die to sin and live for Christ. He'll completely wash you clean in his blood. He'll make you new by the Holy Spirit. You'll have new desires and you'll live in a way that pleases God and brings honor and glory to his name. So Father, I pray for whoever's listening to me, may they be made new by the power of God. May they acknowledge that you are Lord Jesus and may they turn from their sins, leave them behind and may they pursue you and let nothing stop them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and everybody said, Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Morning Devotionals, and I will see you next time.